Hello. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Susan and I'm an Arabian YouTuber. So if you're joining for the first time, please go down below, hit that red button but read and subscribe and don't forget to put on your notification so that every time I post something you will be notified or maybe you'll be put off by this video so much that you don't even want to subscribe <laughs> anyways so don't f I mean feel free to comment feel free to comment um, like and share the video if you feel like it has a message or not or if you like me so today I decided to take myself out yeah i'm using that term take myself out but i just decided to go and leave the kids home and just be on my own and get a small drink it's sunday it's not like i'm gonna drink alcohol just get a small drink and just spend an hour to myself it's not that i don't want to be around people around my kids or my husband i just want to have a free time i just want to have time to myself like even an hour this is one of the things that we take for granted like, like ever since like i can't remember a time where i just went out and just have fun to myself or just have time to myself and i believe this time to yourself is really needed especially if you're a mom and you're taking care of other people so you need to have time to yourself and just um you know, recopulate or just, um, what's the word? Just to re-energize so that you can be able to take care of other people too. It's not like I take care of people really, maybe the kids, but I have a lot of help from my husband. But the thing that set me off maybe today the most is that um, this whole week, our youngest has not been feeling well, like she's having some new teeth coming in. And you also know like, the terrible tools, <laughs> terrible tools could be crazy. So um, today we woke up and you know, she cries at night because you know, and she's not faking it. You know, she can, you can really tell that she's in pain. Her new gum, I mean her gums are all swollen and the new teeth coming in and there's muscle over the teeth and all that. So she's feeling pain. So when our child is feeling pain, you also feel pain. So I decided like, oh, the morning was not really good. Like she was just, mommy, mommy, you know, crying. And um, it made me feel bad because I know she's sick, but at the same time, she's just crying. And at the same time, you feel like, oh, maybe she's being un unreasonable, but you know she's sick. So it's just those moments. It's not like um, I'm arguing or I'm, I'm, you know, complaining about being a mom. No, being a mom is awesome. It's just that sometimes you need time to yourself so that you stop yelling at your kids so you don't yell at your kids it's needed if you just leave and just come back when you feel energized yeah. so a lot of you are going to judge me and you're going to twist my words against me but i'm not complaining i'm just telling you that sometimes as a mom you feel you get to feel overwhelmed and you need to get time to yourself to feed yourself not just with food but to feed your soul and feed your mind and just rest your mind from yelling at the kids and when you go back home you can just hug them and just be nice to them not you know because i know or maybe you're not that way but a lot of parents yell at kids when they feel stressed so i feel like and i've never really been good at going away my husband always advised me like oh if you feel like you're getting like stressed you can just you know tell me if you can go anywhere or something and i go like and i go like no i'll never leave my kids to go away that's so selfish so i always felt like i was being selfish if i leave my kids to feed myself or to like make myself feel better if i leave them i feel selfish i feel like i'm not a mom enough and this also is fueled by society i almost didn't make this video because i'm scared I was scared of what you're going to say. Are you going to judge me for just wanting time to myself away from my kids? Are you going to judge me? No. If you judge me, then I don't know. Maybe your life is so perfect that you don't get frustrated or you just, you don't get any things that can set you off. So anyways, I just made this video for you 
for you to know that you can actually feel this way you can actually feel like you need to get away from the kids without feeling like you're being a bad mom so you don't need to beat yourself up for just feeling like you need time to yourself just time to be you and not feel judged because if you're judging me right now I don't know do you, okay tell me down below in the comments do you have kids and have there never been a day where you wanted just to go out and if you don't have kids please comment down below of, on how you feel about this topic like is it wrong for me just to go out on my own on purpose to leave my kids like really the reason why i wanted to get away is just to be on my own without my kids does that make make me a bad mom please comment down below do you think i'm a bad mom anyways uh, right now i'm just seated at a place i've ordered some food um not really food it's just chips i didn't have breakfast even so i yeah so i'm just ordering some food which is just chips by the way it's the cheapest they have so you don't need a lot of money or you don't need what if you don't have money you can just go somewhere and sit and just be to yourself be alone and you know things will be okay i guess things will be okay anyways i just got a drink and then some food and uh, yeah and i'm waiting as i shoot this so yeah and i feel like now it's a little bit pushed by the pandemic or the virus or something because now there's no way you can go like really without feeling like you're putting your life or your kids life in danger like where can we go um where i am of course i can come here i have my mask i came here wearing my mask and there is actually literally nobody here so maybe the waiters and all that but it's yeah it's just it feels as if you can't go anywhere you can't escape you can't with the kids of course like we used to go away with the kids just take them to play and we can still do it even today i'm thinking of just taking them for a walk and go under a, um, a tree and play but um this was my moment and i believe that doesn't make me a bad mom i want to tr I, tr I want to try and believe that I'm the best mom ever, but um, even the best moms crack, <laughs> don't you think? Yeah, so I don't feel no shame, or at least not yet. I've just been here for like 10 minutes, so <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'll chat with you guys as time goes or as I eat. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, this is the food. It's just chips, but this is this is this parsley? Yes, it's parsley. It looks amazing guys. Look at this. So yeah, so now I'm going to <laughs> now I'm going to have chips alone without my kids. Um I don't think I'm gonna eat. Yeah, it just feels wrong. This is not how I was brought up. Like my mom would go to town and then she would buy a small fat cake and she won't eat it. She would like she'll buy fat cakes, she won't eat. She would bring us fat cakes because she feels like if she eats when she was alone or when she was away alone, it's like she's a bad mom for some reason. And for some reason I still hold the same values as my mom. Like I just don't wanna eat. Like I can't eat guys. The food the chips looks amazing, but I just can't eat it. I can't eat it without, without my kids. So I feel like I need to do this, take away and go to the shop, buy some meat and go home and just, you know, be with the kids. So the message here guys is just that you shouldn't feel bad for wanting time to yourself as a mom because as a mom you have a lot of things going on even dads like i have an awesome husband who's an amazing dad so he might also need time to himself that's why I just even if he doesn't want to go I'll just go like take go take pictures go somewhere you know 
so you need you you can want time to yourself even if you're you, you, even if you're still the best mom even if you're still a good mom so good moms also need time to themselves so guys if you find yourself in a situation where you feel like you just need to get away for a minute take that breath there go away um have a drink and a cold one and just gather yourself and good luck motherhood is not an easy thing but i'm not complaining it's been amazing by the way it's just that when they are not feeling well and you have a lot on your mind like school stuff and all that so yeah come with me to the shops so this is fish by the way <laughs> apparently this is fish this fish i mean i miss fish but this doesn't look too good Tilapia are my favorite, so I'm gonna get some tilapia. 50 bucks. I'm gonna get some tilapia. Is this milk? No, it's hot mackerel, but it's huge. Like, I would want to get this. 50 something for a hot mackerel. 20 something. No, thank you. Alright, let's get some chicken. We ran out of chicken, so <laughs> there's this joke, joke guys, apparently if ladies know how to choose men, the way they choose bright pets at the shop, then they wouldn't be in messy situations. Yeah, but I don't care what you say, but I'm good at choosing my, choosing my bright pets. So, <laughs> so. I don't know guys, with these masks and shades. Hello. Can I have some of this beef? Some. Maybe for $70, 80 I can see a lot of bones. Maybe you can pick one of those with marrow. So this is a meat at our supermarkets. It looks good. It can just be a little bit expensive. How much are the wings? Thank you. Package. Woo! Wings are expensive now, thank you. They are like more than what not. Oh yay! Now they have this one. Guys, this is the meat I use in my um, lasagna. I get this, whatever, they call it grid up. Last time I got it, they, at ShopRite, they wrote char griller or something. So this one, um, this is the closest you can come to Italian, Italian sausage. That's why I picked, that's why I picked that one. Sorry. It's the closest you can come to Italian Sausage. That's why I picked that one for my for my lasagna. So yeah, living in Africa, you have to improvise. Once the recipe is asking or is calling for a certain meat, then um, it's up to you to find a substitute. Um, for example, here they can ask you to get um, to use to use what is this um they can ask you to use tomato sauce but the only tomato sauce we have is um wow okay anyways the only tomato sauce we have is the ketchup but to you guys ketchup is not tomato sauce i mean you have a different tomato sauce about from ketchup so we try to make our own tomato sauce from um, from the tomato paste 
which doesn't always go as planned but yeah let's get some of the pasta stuff this is what I get for my um, for my pasta either go for this especially when you don't have meat you can just do this pasta bolognese thingy and then you add and then you put it to your you add it to your pasta or the you know this is all I, I'm getting for today so I'm just going to check out I'm looking for my cousin I can't see her so I'm just gonna go here because I can't find my cousin Thank <laughs> you. 